We've talked about voltage drop. We've talked about how to use our meter as a kind of a frontage road to give the electricity someplace else to go. What we'd like to do in this last video on voltage drop is show you a practical way of how to actually use this. I've simulated a battery with a cable running to the starter. Let's assume your starter isn't turning fast enough and you figure, well, maybe I've got a problem with my cable. It's a logical conclusion. You get your voltmeter, set your voltmeter to volts as you normally would, get your two terminals, this is important, put one to touch the post coming out of the battery on this side and one to touch the post going into the starter here. Have somebody crank the engine. Remember, we have to have electricity flowing or this won't work. So they crank the engine. Now, with the other systems in the car, one half of one volt is about as much as we want to see through this meter. We've got a lot of electricity going through here. So in this particular case, she can get all up to pretty close to one volt and still be acceptable. So let's say we run our test and we've touched the terminal, the post here, the post here, and we're getting maybe four volts trying to throw through our meter. Something's wrong. Now, what's wrong? You have to break it down. You can't just say it's the cable because it might not be. First test you run after that. Take one lead from your voltmeter and touch the cable end. Take the other lead from your voltmeter and touch the post and the battery. Have somebody crank the car. Okay, if the voltage is trying to get through the meter is very low, we know that the connection between the cable end and the post is good. If right here we're getting three or four volts or five volts trying to climb through the meter, then what we have is we have a problem between the cable end and the post. It's probably just dirty. The next thing we want to do is the cable end again, pierce the vinyl on the cable, and have somebody crank the engine. See what kind of voltage tries to run through. If it's good, we're fine. If the voltage begins to climb through the meter, that means the connection between the cable and the cable needs attention. Down here, we'll do the exact same thing. We poke through the vinyl, we touch the cable end, have somebody crank the engine, and take a reading. If it's good, great. If it's not, where the cable meets the cable end is our problem. And then we go from the post going into the starter and the cable end and run the test again. Okay? This will not only tell us if we have a problem in the big picture, but then it will help us to break it down. By doing that, you can do virtually any circuit in your car, find the problem, and fix it.